This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Toledo brand 40mm aluminum padlock. It's the model TBK92AL, and I bought it off of Home Depot's website for about $17 or $18. Now, this is a lock that absolutely must be evaluated in light of whatever you intend to use it for, because this long thin shackle makes the most likely attacks in the field either cutting or twisting. Those attacks are fast and extremely low skill. Even so, Toledo put a surprising effort into pick, bump, and drill resistance. I'll show you all the features that are on the inside after we pick this open, so let's get started. I'm going to use an AM5 leashy tool. I, of course, sell these over on covertinstruments.com. Okay, nothing on one. Two is binding. Nice click there, and that's a very powerful spring, probably the location of our bump-resistant features. Nothing on four, five, six. Back to the beginning, one is binding. There we go, nice click out of one, and we dropped into a false set. Nothing on two, three, counter-rotation on four. Five is binding, little counter rotation there as well. There we go, I think five is set. Counter rotation on six, and we got this open. Okay, let's take this apart and I will show you all of those pick, bump, and drill resistant features. Now, I should note that while there are drill resistant features in the core, if I were drilling this open, I would put probably a quarter inch drill bit right through that drain hole it will shear off the head of that disassembly screw and the whole thing will come apart. So while there are drill resistant features in the cylinder, I'm not sure that's the place I'd be drilling. Okay, let's take that C-clip off the back. Now, let me get a follower, and we should be able to cool, pull that plug right out. Okay, let's start by dropping all of the key pins out. A steel standard pin in slot one, steel serrated in slot two, brass serrated in slot four, I'm sorry, three, brass standard in slot four, brass serrated in slot five, and brass standard in slot six. Okay, let's put all of these the way they should be, and we'll get the driver pins out. And we should also take a close look at the springs because I felt a very powerful spring on slot two. And manufacturers often use powerful springs to thwart lock bumping. Okay, a standard steel driver pin in slot one, a brass barrel pin in slot two, and there we go. We definitely have a different spring, looks like a much thicker and stronger steel spring in slot two as compared to the copper in slot one. There we go, the weaker spring again with a brass spool. And slots four, five, and six all felt like spools to me. And that's exactly what they are. And let's drop those springs out as well. Okay, now I want to look at the features of this plug because there's something really interesting if you look carefully. You can see the little lines right under the surface in each of the chambers. That counter milling can make picking a little bit more difficult because it gives you a tiny little click when the driver pins get up to the edge of the counter milling, even though the core can't rotate. Then we also have these two pins on either side between slots one and two, 
Those are hardened steel and will most likely dull or chip a drill bit if you try to drill the shear line. Let's zoom in on the pins. You can see we have steel in slot one, both key pin and driver pin, that is for drill resistance. Again, a steel key pin in slot two, again for drill resistance, and you can see there is some serration right at the top, that is for pick resistance. Then we have this little barrel pin, in slot two is the driver pin, and that can make bumping difficult because that smaller diameter tends to catch on the core and keep it from turning. And we have a stronger steel spring there as well. Having different spring strengths can make bumping harder. Then for the rest, we have the weaker spring, brass spool pins, and then looks like standard pins in slots four and six, and serrated in three and five for the key pins. So, Obviously, it's not going to stop an experienced picker. I got in fairly quickly, but it will give amateurs a run for their money, and there's no denying that the company is making far more effort than most. So I certainly give them credit for that. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.